Good evening customers and welcome to a short history of Woolworths. Woolworths began in 1924 as Woolworths stupendous bargain basement in Sydney's Imperial Arcade. In this picture you can see a lady in the top right corner, the cashier, where an overhead wire would be pulled to the cashier from the sales floor and change and receipt returned the same way. This method of cash and carry sales was new for Australia. The model was patterned on the cash and carry concept store in Adelaide. This article from 1926 describes the concept, the cheaper one can buy the better, under present conditions and the cash and carry store maintains that every article is sold below credit prices. You come to the shop with your basket and when you have all you require you pass the checking counter and pay for it. So you can see from this that the way of paying before this time was on account and by delivery from a trader. Coming to the store was a new concept. The foundation directors toiled with the naming considering Woolworths Bazaar, but when they found that F.W. Woolworth Woolworths USA, in the US had not registered its trade name in New South Wales and was apparently not interested in doing so, they adopted Woolworths Limited. The opening advertisement said, every city needs a Woolworths, Sydney has it now. Every man, woman and child needs a handy place where good things are cheap. All have been given a money back guarantee of satisfaction, two principles that became intrinsic to the Woolworths way. Woolworths stores became the first variety store in the world to install receipt printing cash register machines in 1926. The second Woolworths supermarket was opened on the 6th of August 1927 on Queen Street, Brisbane. Although commonplace today, Woolworths' first self-service stores revolutionised the shopping experience, allowing customers to select their purchases in-store and pay at cash registers at the front. This concept is not to be confused with the self-service payment machines you see today. Self-service here refers to personally selecting the items off the shelf. Pictured as the first self-service store in Sydney's Beverly Hills in 1955. Woolworths' first food store was at D.Y. in Sydney in 1957. It was a self-service section at the rear of a Woolworths variety store and sold a limited range of groceries, fresh vegetables, meat and deli items. Take note of this catalogue from 1957. You will notice that mail order and in-store are on offer. It is also interesting to note that this is still pre-decimalisation of currency. This is a picture of Woolworths workers in 1958 at King's Cross. Back in the day, staff were referred to as Mr. or Mrs., like the TV series, Are You Being Served? One Facebook user describes his experience in managing the shop. The policy then was that you had to wear the name badge, but at King's Cross, it would be anything other than your real name. Fun place in the day. Woolworths reached a milestone of 300 stores with the opening of Wentworthville in 1959. In just four years, this self-service revolution had led Woolworths to unprecedented growth. The acquisition of Queensland's BCC stores also helped in achieving this milestone. In 1960, Woolworths began to roll out what we now know as purpose-built supermarkets. The first of these was in Warrawong. Under one roof with adjacent parking, customers could access a range of food and variety goods at value prices. The first Woolworths supermarket was soon to be followed by others in Seven Hills, St Ives, Barala, Fairfield Heights, Corporu, and Margate and Elizabeth. This is a picture of Woolworths Supermarket at Penshurst, New South Wales in 1967. The original store opened in 1953 as part of a large expansion program. New stores included Coffs Harbour, Parks, Port Kembla, Bankstown, Randwick, St Mary's and Mayfield. The store was known as Woolworths Food Fair. Note the banner with the emphasis on food prices are down. While Coles' stronghold was Victoria, Woolworths' food operations were relatively slow to develop a foothold. In 1969, the company purchased a Victorian grocery group of 26 stores trading as Nancaros. In 1970, the purchase of Cross Food Stores added a further 75 stores. Here we have a rare photograph of the Woolworths cafeteria in the Town Hall Sydney store, as well as an indication of the menu and prices. The 1970s also saw Woolworths experiment with the Big W idea. Initially scrapping the original Big W concept and the store name in favour of Woolworths Variety and Woolworths Family Centre, the Big W concept wasn't solidified until 1989, when the last of the Woolworths Variety stores was closed and Woolworths Family Centres were split into separate Big W and Woolworths branded supermarket stores. In 1973, Woolworths introduced its first comprehensive range of own brand products. Ten years later, this was superseded by home brand, 150 basic products. But only at Woolworths supermarkets can you get price and convenience, because we have the imagination and the massive buying power to guarantee Australia's lowest prices on the full range of home brand products. Home brand allows you to make big savings on a full range from baked beans, pasta, cleaners, through to paper products. So you can still afford the little luxuries your family loves. This is a paper bag from 1981, the standard of the time. 
with plastic bags being more of a 90s thing, so we've come full circle. You could also use a free box in many supermarkets, as you see in Bunnings today. This photograph is from 1982 from the Nambour store. It is one of the rare usages of the colloquial term, Woolies. A second photograph from the North Melbourne store from the same year shows more usage of the Woolies term. In 1982, Woolworths acquired two Tasmanian grocery brands, Rolf Voss in Northern and Purity in Southern, which were converted to Woolworths in 2000. In Victoria, you may consider Woolworths Safeway. Safeway was an American label operating in Australia since 1963. Woolworths acquired all of its 126 Australian stores in 1985. The following year, every Woolworths supermarket in Victoria was rebranded as Safeway. All Safeway and Red S stores in Queensland and New South Wales were rebranded as Woolworths. In 2008, Woolworths announced it would rebrand Safeway stores as Woolworths, and this process was completed in 2017 with the final Safeway in Wodonga being converted. This catalogue photo from 1985 shows the Woolworths variety logo at the top of the page, showing items we would expect to find in Big W these days. This photo from 1987 depicts the old smoke shop signage, as well as a sign out the front advertising for shop assistance. It took until 1987 for Woolworths to come up with the fresh food people. This focus differentiated Woolworths from other supermarkets, and this philosophy remains to this day. This catalogue snippet from 1988 shows a distinct change in logo from the 60s W to the new Stripe logo. Many online users recall a self-service 20 cent cordial machine outside many of the supermarkets during the 90s. This series of photos from the Woolworths Maddington store in the 90s with Mr Pickwick's bakery, check signage on the service desk, Jim and Hester's delicatessen. This newspaper clipping of the opening of Woolworths Mandura in the 70s describes shopping being a pleasure with a spacious car park, air conditioning, money-back guarantee, freshness and quality, and Woolworths own brands. All roads lead to Woolies. This picture shows a 90s Nightfall team shirt with a striped logo. At Woolworths Eastwood, Sydney, this photo was taken pointing to Woolworths home shop parcel pickup area. This photograph shows an apron uniform worn in the 80s, as well as a bagpacker which was still a thing, before disappearing in the 1990s in lieu of bagging yourself at a table away from the checkouts, or bagging at checkouts in newer stores with a bagging area mounted on the checkout. Good evening customers, this presentation has come to an end. If you could please make your way to the next video. On behalf of everyone who watched this, I would like to thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you again soon. Until I reopen another short history, thank you for watching this Woolworths history. I will leave you with this 1991 commercial, which I think defines their direction to what we see and know as Woolworths today. It's fresh today. And low price too. But there's so much more in store. The bakers are up. The prices are down. And there's so much more to offer you, so come around. Every store. Parking's at the door. We're here to offer service with a smile for you. We're the Woolworths Fresh Food People. With so much more for you. More than freshness, more than value, more than service, and lower prices too. Woolworths have so much more for you. The range is vast.